Hello everyone. You are welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation. x to the power 5, 5 is equal to x plus 1 times 5x minus 1. Our job is to find all possible values of x. So let's start. x to the power 5, 5 is equal to x times 5x will become 5x squared. In x times negative 1, negative x 1 times 5x plus 5x in 1 time negative 1 negative 1. Now we add 5 to both sides. So this get cancelled and this equation will become x to the power 5 is equal to 5x squared negative x plus 5x will become plus 4x this negative 1 plus 5 will become plus 4. Now we add x plus 1 to both sides. At left hand side we add x plus 1. So this will become x to the power 5 plus x plus 1 is equal to 5x squared. This 4x plus x will become plus 5x and 4 plus 1 plus 5. Next, x to the power 5 plus x plus 1 is equal to, from these three terms uh, we can factor out 5. In bracket left, uh, x squared plus x plus 1. Now, we write this expression at left hand side and this expression at the right hand side. So, this will become 5 times uh, x squared plus x plus 1 is equal to x to the power 5 plus x plus 1. Now, because here we have x squared plus x plus 1. So, in this expression at the right hand side, we add and subtract x squared in the form of 0. So, this right hand side will become x to the power 5 minus x squared plus x squared plus this x plus 1. Now, from these two terms, uh, x to the power 5 minus x squared, we can factor out x squared. So, x squared as common in bracket left, uh, x cubed minus 1 plus this x squared plus x plus 1. This one, 1 is same as 1 cubed. So, by using this algebraic identity, a cubed minus b cubed is equal to a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared. This will become x squared times x minus 1 times x squared plus uh, x plus 1 plus this expression x squared plus x plus 1. And at left hand side uh, we have uh, this expression 5 times x squared plus uh, x plus 1. Now, we move this expression 5 times x squared plus x plus 1 to the right hand side. Then this will become x squared times x minus 1 times x squared plus x plus 1 plus this expression x squared plus x plus 1. This uh, positive expression will become negative 5 times x squared plus x plus 1 is equal to 0. Now, this x squared plus x plus 1, this x squared plus x plus 1, this x squared plus x plus 1 is common. So, we factor out this uh, x squared plus uh, x plus 1. And uh, in bracket left, uh, this x squared times x minus 1, 
this one and this negative five. In bracket left, uh, x squared times uh, x minus one plus one minus five is equal to zero. X x squared plus uh, x plus one times uh, this uh, x squared times x will become x cubed. And x squared times negative one negative x squared. And this plus one minus five will become negative four is equal to zero. Now from here either this expression x squared plus uh, x plus 1 is equal to 0 or uh, this expression x cubed minus x squared minus 4 is equal to 0. Now, this uh, quadratic equation is not factorable, so we solve it by quadratic formula. According to quadratic formula, x is equal to negative 1 plus minus square root of in place of b squared, we write 1 squared minus 4 times a is 1 times c is 1 divided by 2 times a is 1. Next, x is equal to negative 1 plus minus square root of this 1 squared is 1 and 1 minus 4 will become negative 3 divided by 2 times 1, 2. And x is equal to negative 1 plus minus this square root of negative 3 can be written as square root of 3 times square root of negative 1 divided by 2 and x is equal to negative 1 plus minus root 3 and this square root of negative 1 will become i divided by 2. This is the first and second value of x. These are the two solutions of this equation. Now, from this cubic equation, we write this x cubed, x cubed minus this x squared. This negative 4 can be written as negative 8 plus 4 is equal to 0. Now, we write this x cubed with this negative 8 and this negative x squared with this 4. So, this will become x cubed minus 8 minus x squared plus 4 is equal to 0. Now, we make two groups x cubed minus this 8 can be written as 2 cubed. We use parentheses to make this a group. We use negative sign before parentheses. So, this negative x squared will become positive x squared. This uh, plus 4 will become negative 4. Negative 4 can be written as a negative 2 squared is equal to 0. Now, for this, we use this uh, algebraic identity a cubed minus b cubed is equal to a minus b times a squared plus uh, a b plus b squared. And for this one, we use this algebraic identity a squared minus uh, b squared is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So, this will become x minus 2 times x squared plus uh, 2 times x plus uh, 2 squared or 4 minus this will become x plus 2 times x minus 2 is equal to 0. Now, this x minus 2 and this x minus 2 is common. So, we factor out x minus 2. The in bracket left, uh, this x squared plus uh, 2x plus 4 minus x plus 2. In bracket left, uh, x squared plus uh, 2 times x plus 4. Negative times x will become negative x and negative times plus 2 will become negative 2 is equal to 0. x x minus 2 times x 
squared this is 2x minus 1x will become plus x and 4 minus 2 will become plus 2 is equal to 0. From here either this expression x minus 2 is equal to 0 or this expression x squared plus uh, x plus 2 is equal to 0. From this equation we get the value of x is equal to 2. This is the third value of x, this is the third solution. From this quadratic equation is not factorable. So, we solve it by quadratic formula. According to quadratic formula, x is equal to negative 1 plus minus square root of in place of b squared we write 1 squared minus 4 times a is 1 times c is 2 divided by 2 times a is 1 x, x is equal to negative 1 plus or minus square root of this 1 squared is 1 and negative 4 times 1 times 2 will become negative 8 and 1 minus 8 will become negative 7 divided by 2 times 1 2 and x is equal to negative 1 plus minus this square root of negative 1 can be written as square root of 7 times square root of negative 1 divided by 2 and x is equal to negative 1 plus minus root 7. This uh, root negative 1 will become i divided by 2. This is the fourth and fifth value of x. And uh, first we found the value of x 3 is equal to this 2 and value of uh, x 1 and 2 is equal to value of x 1 and 2 is negative 1 plus minus root 3 i over 2. Value of x 1 and 2 is negative 1 plus minus root 3 i over 2. So, we have 5 solutions of this equation.